रजीम बिस्मिल्लाम डियर स्टूडेंट्स अस्सलाम वालेकुम माय नेम इज़ डॉक्टर अजहर अली असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट सरहद यूनिवर्सिटी पेशावर डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस फर्स्ट फर्स्ट वीडियो लेक्चर ऑफ वीक थर्टीन फॉर द कोर्स नोमेरिकल एनालिसिस इज़ द कंटिन्यूशन ऑफ माई प्रीवियस लेक्चर इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस सोल्यूशन ऑफ सिस्टम ऑफ लीन रिक्वीशन बाय जेकूबी आई टेटियो मेथड एंड नाउ टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द सोल्यूशन ऑफ सिस्टम ऑफ लीन रिक्वीशन बाय गासीडल आई टेटियो मेथड these two methods jacobi iterative method and gauss seidel iterative method are called indirect methods by these methods uh, we can obtain an approximate uh, an approximate solution for the system of linear equations now the iterative solution procedure i have already told you about uh, the iterative solution procedure that first of all write the system in matrix form ax is equal to b uh, and then rewrite reorder the equations in unknown so that diagonal dominant is obtained that is each diagonal element aii is larger in absolute value than the sum of the magnitude of other entries in row i and then starting with a initial approximation vector x not and then generate a sequence of uh, solution x k iteratively now the procedure of uh, gaussian iteration dear students you see over here this is a system of uh, in linear equations a11 x1 plus a12 x2 plus a plus and so on plus a1 n x n is equal to b1 and a21 x1 plus a22 x2 plus and so on plus a2 n x n is equal to b2 and up to n equation a n1 x1 plus a n2 x2 plus and so on plus a n uh, n x n is equal to b n we are a11 a12 up to a1n and uh, up to n coefficients a in 1 a in 2 up to a in n are the uh, coefficients of uh, unknown and b1 b2 up to bn are the constants which lies which lies on the right hand side of the system of equations and x1 x2 x3 up to xn are unknown variables so Uh, we have to solve this uh, linear system by gaussian method by gaussian method uh, first of all uh, use the latest updates and then solve the first equation for uh, x1 and solve the second equation for x2 solve the third equation for x3 and solve the last n equation for xn but first of all check that uh, the diagonal dominant the diagonal uh, elements will be dominant so then the general formula for the solution of system of equation by gaussian method this is the gaussian method formula xi k plus 1 iteration is equal to 1 over a i i into b i minus sum of uh, j sigma j is equal to 1 up to i minus 1 a a i j and into x j k plus 1 iteration minus sigma j is equal to i plus 1 up to n a i j into x j k iteration for k is equal to 0 1 2 3 up to uh, so on iteration so solve the first equation uh, for x1 solve the second equation for x2 solve the last n equation for x n if the diagonal dominant is obtained now dear students you see over here the gaussian method and jacobi method and jacobi method and gaussian method 
the first equation is same as Jacobi method for Gauss-Seidel method and in the second equation uh, we obtain uh, the first uh, term x1 will be one iteration and for x3 there will be x0 iteration and so on and in the second equation in the third last equation suppose this is the n equation suppose we have n is equal to 3 we have three equations then in the last equation the we obtain x1 1 iteration x2 1 iteration and so on x n minus 1 1 iteration and you uh, see over here this is the general iteration formula for Gauss-Seidel iteration method and now the convergence of Gauss-Seidel iteration uh, Gauss-Seidel Gauss GS mean Gauss-Seidel iteration convergence for any initial vector if A is a diagonally dominant matrix you see over here first of all write this matrix uh, write this system in the matrix form then the matrix A the matrix A will be up the matrix A will be obtained the uh, coefficients of the system so if this matrix A will be diagonal dominant and then Gaussian iteratio iteration convergence for any initial vector if A is a symmetric and positive definite matrix so for the convergence of a Gaussian method first of all uh, check the matrix A will be diagonal dominant matrix A will be symmetric and matrix A will be positive definite matrix. So, a matrix A is positive definite, then if X transpose into A matrix into X matrix greater than 0 for every non zero X vector. Uh, X vector means the initial approximation. Now, what is a positive definite matrix? A matrix will be positive definite if it is a uh, symmetric it is a uh, diagonally dominant and all the diagonal entries will be positive all the diagonal entry will be positive so if a matrix satisfied all these three conditions then the matrix will be positive definite matrix so for the convergence of the Gaussian matter dear students note that in the previous slides that uh, a Gaussian method will be convergence to the exit solution if the matrix A is diagonally dominant, matrix A is a symmetric and matrix A is a positive definite matrix. The symmetric matrix means if we interchange each row of the matrix A into the diagonal form and then we obtain uh, again the matrix A, mean transpose of matrix A is equal to matrix A, then this is called symmetric matrix. Now, uh, a matrix will be positive or definite if it is symmetric, if it is diagonally dominant and if all the diagonal entries are positive, then the matrix will be called positive definite matrix. Now to check the positive the positive definite definitions, suppose we have a matrix A, this is the matrix A. Now dear students you see over here, the largest value in this matrix is a 25. So, the largest value element is not in other diagonals so this means that the diagonal is not dominant because diagonal dominant mean that the sum of the other entries in each row is uh, less than the diagonal element you see over here in the first diagonal in the first row this is the diagonal element and the sum of these two is 37 so 37 is greater than 20 so this is not diagonal dominant and now in the second row you see over here this is the diagonal element the diagonal element is dominant because the sum of the other two entries in this row 12 plus 2 is 14 and 14 is less than 15 so this is diagonal dominant and in the third row the sum of these two uh, is uh, 27 and the diagonal element uh, is 5 so this is not diagonal dominant so the largest element is not in the diagonal so this is not positive definite matrix now this matrix is not a positive definite because for the positive definite uh, the second condition is that that uh, the uh, diagonal entries will be positive for positive definite matrix there are three conditions matrix will be positive 
um, uh, the matrix will be symmetric matrix will be symmetric and diagonal dominant and all the diagonal elements will be positive so this matrix is not that positive definite because the diagonal elements are not positive and you see over here this matrix is positive definite because this matrix is symmetric suppose uh, we want to transpose we want to take the transpose of this matrix the transpose of this matrix will be to convert the first row into the column 20 12 5 and 12 15 2 and 5 to 25 if we convert all each these row into the column form we again obtain this matrix so this is called a symmetric matrix and the diagonal elements uh, is or uh, dominant 20 is greater than the sum of these two 15 is greater than the sum of the 12 and 2 and 25 is greater than the sum of these two so this is called diagonal dominant and all the diagonal elements are positive so this is called positive definite matrix now if we check the solution of this system by Gaussian method then the Gaussian method will be convergent for each initial approximations because this matrix is positive definite mean this matrix is symmetric diagonal dominant and all the diagonal uh, entries are positive so if a system has satisfied all these three conditions met uh, symmetric uh, diagonal dominant and all the diagonal entries are positive then this matrix will be positive definite and the Gaussian method will be convergent for this system for each initial approximation now to check again the positive definite you see over here in this matrix this matrix uh, a decision cannot be made just by investigation the matrix we cannot uh, make a decision by investigation the matrix for this system because the matrix is diagonally dominant uh, the diagonal of this uh, in this diagonal entry in this row is 20 and 20 is greater than the sum of these two similarly 15 is greater than the sum of these two and 25 is uh, greater than the sum of these two so this matrix is diagonally dominant and all the diagonal entries are positive but it is not symmetric it is not symmetric if we convert each row into the column form then we cannot obtain again this matrix so this matrix is not symmetric so one condition is fail so this matrix is not positive definite so uh, the Gaussian method will not convergence for this system now you see over here this is the uh, formula for 3 by 3 system 3 by 3 system mean we have 3 equations and 3 unknown so the Gaussian uh, formula will be you see over here uh, so the first equation for x1 x1 uh, iteration k plus 1 and shift all the uh, remaining terms to the right hand side and divide these terms by the coefficients of x1 and you see over here uh, x2 has iteration k and x3 has iteration k also so the first equation uh, is uh, as jacobi method now in the second in the second equation so the second equation for x2 uh, and you see over here x2 iteration k plus 1 is equal to uh, shift all the remaining terms to the right hand side and divide these terms by the coefficient of x2 so the second in the second equation you see over here x1 has the iteration is in jacobi method but x3 has the iteration k plus 1 so that this third term x3 term is different from the jacobi iteration method and now solve the third equation for x3 and sh shift all the remaining terms to the right hand side and divide all the terms by the coefficient of x3 and you see over here uh, the third equation formula in Gaussian method you see over here k1, x1 has iteration k plus 1 and x2 has iteration k plus 2 so x1 and x2 iteration is different from the Jacobi iteratio method so dear student you see over here this is the uh, you know, formula for the solution of unknown variables if we have a system of three equations and three unknown so first of all check the diagonal dominant if the diagonal dominant is obtained then uh, start the in uh, Gaussian approximation formula and take an initial approximation x1 naught x2 naught and x3 naught you see over here uh, to first of all check the diagonal dominant in case of Gaussian method 
in the Gaussian method we will must to check the diagonal dominant for the Gaussian method the matrix will be positive definite and positive definite mean the matrix will be symmetric the matrix will be diagonal dominant and all the diagonal elements will be positive so you see over here just check the diagonal dominant uh, a11 is greater than the sum of other coefficients similarly a22 is greater than the sum of the other coefficients in the second row and a33 is greater than a33 is greater than absolutely from the sum of the other two entries in a third row this is the diagonal co diagonal element of the first row a22 is a diagonal element of the second row and a33 is a diagonal element of the third row so diagonal uh, diagonal is dominant in the system and then uh, take initial uh, initial approximation initial gauge is x naught uh, x1 naught x2 naught and x3 naught suppose 0 0 0 and continue with the process of iteration for different values of k suppose k is equal to 0 k is equal to 1 k is equal to 2 unless we get the required accuracy so dear students note that when both jacobi and gaussian iterations converge then gaussian method Converting is faster than Jacobi iterative method. So, dear students, this is the uh, general procedures. This is the procedure of the Gaussian approximation method. So, first of all, you see over here. I want to tell you again the procedure. Suppose we have a system of equations, uh, three equations in three unknown. So, uh, first of all, check the diagonal dominant. If the diagonal dominant is not obtained then interchange the row accordingly to obtain the diagonal dominant and then make the formula make the formula mean solve the first equation for x1 solve the second equation for x2 and solve the third equation for x3 and you see over here the first equation is like uh, jacobi method and the second equation in the second equation just the iteration of x3 is changed the iteration of x3 will be k plus 1 and in the third equation the iteration of x1 and x2 will be changed the iteration of x1 will be k plus 1 and the iteration of x2 will be also will be k plus 1 uh, so after checking the diagonal dominant uh, make the formula for the Gaussian method and then and then start from initial cases take initial case x naught x1 naught x2 naught and x3 naught suppose 0 0 0 and then continues the process to get uh, the required approximate solution and proceed the iterations for different values of k unless we get the required accuracy so inshallah in the next uh, um, second video lecture of 13 week i will tell you again about uh, the gaussian approximation method uh, by some numerical problems with examples inshallah in the next video lecture we saw some uh, examples by using the Gaussian approximation method Gaussian iterative method to discuss the Gaussian approximation procedure and now this is the end of this segment thank you Allah Hafiz